Last night, IABC announced that out of the 1.6 signatures court had submitted for verification, only 891,000 were valid, signaling the collapse of the Okoa Kenya referendum push after failing to meet the legal threshold of 1 million signatures. Legal analysts, however, argue that the lack of a statutory law to govern the clamor and modalities of a referendum worked against court. Lawyers George Kithi and Stephen Mugaka opined that the push for a referendum, as envisaged in the Constitution, should not be left at the masses of IEBC. This is the first in time we are testing the provision of referendums in the context of the 2010 Constitution. So that um, the, the, the law needs to be seen to work, but I think it has its own hurdles in terms of um, whether it is organic enough to be able to serve us as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it is important that we test it and, and we stretch it as much as possible to, to its limit. Then we see whether we need to amend the law of referendum or that it, it, it is good enough to, to be able to serve us. It is a, a lacuna in law uh, which the whole country takes a beating because uh, um, uh, that section or that article of the constitution should have been given effect using a statute law made by parliament. Um, uh, it is also even more saddening that uh, CIC, which was the arm policing the implementation of the constitution, is no more. It, uh, its life expired before actualizing um, uh, or uh, giving effect to this particular article of the constitution. With the court coalition feeling aggrieved after the IEBC decision, the two lawyers differ on the options available for court in the corridors of justice and whether court could go back to the citizenry and collect the deficit in signatures. If they were to, 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 to take that route, then they cannot uh, at the same time start collecting new signatures. Uh, therefore, uh, 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 the quicker route is uh, really to suspend, uh, the, the, uh, to have the court suspend that decision or quash that decision, um, uh, the, declaring the signatures a uh, uh, nullity, and then uh, seek for the court's direction or as to how to fill it. Um, uh, for, 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 for the shortfall in the signatures uh, that are purported to have been found in Bali. The issue will be whether, whether when you submit, the issue for interpretation is whether when you submit that list, then and others are disputed, whether you feel the deficit or the whole thing is thrown out and you have to start afresh. That, that will be the interpretation. Yeah. And my issue is, I don't think you put in such a document as an application and then it fails the threshold and then you say, okay, for the deficit, let me go back and fill it in. I think you have to put a fresh application which is complete with, with signatures. But we're yet to see the interpretation in terms of the um, complete and full text of the law. Yeah. A week ago, court marched to IEBC offices to demand an explanation on why the electoral body had taken over six months and was yet to finalize the verification process, but found no commissioner to give them an explanation. A day later, Jubilee Bigwigs led by Majority Leader Eden Duale and Johnson Sakaja charged that the court signatures were fake and called on IEBC to publish the signatures on local dailies for verification. The two lawyers now argue that the two concurrent events presiding the decision by IEBC had dealt a blow to the credibility of the current electoral body. The courts, again, uh, it's important to look at whether they have powers uh, to even look at this issue in the context of uh, the vested powers being in IEBC in verification. But IEBC again has to be questions at how they arrived at that decision and, um, and the sanctity of that, of that decision to decide that um, there are signatures that are not authentic and therefore, um, the threshold has not been met. But, uh, if uh, court, as they say, and rightly so, presented their signatures to IEBC, how come Jubilee knew that some of the signatures were, in, you know, were fake? Mm -hmm. Um, that can only be that uh, it is Jubilee that uh, gave the signatures that are fake, or um, uh, IEBC intimated uh, to the Jubilee Brigade uh, that uh, some of the signatures have been found to be invalid, which is really a serious issue. The big question that now remains unanswered is whether COD will agree to see its effort to push for a referendum sink with only a deficit of 150,000 signatures. Uh, until the decision by IABC is set aside, yes, the, there is no application for referendum with IABC because a decision on that was rendered that uh, it uh, is unsuccessful for lack of adequate signatures 
that are required by law. Mm-hmm. Uh, and because see, this is a country that moves on. In, in two weeks, we'll have forgotten okay, Kenya had to have this. So they, they have to make as much noise as possible for them to remain relevant. Remember, the strategy was not since it was not since yes, it was a strategy in terms of reforming the constitution. It was to create a momentum towards the next election. You, you remember the NAC wave? Yes. Something like that.